Hey, I'm Sebastian, the lead developer and co-creator of Misconceived alongside Matt. In Misconceived, you have been transferred to work as the lead editor at the main branch of the Reliable Times, after the previous editor mysteriously and abruptly quits. Based on different sets of rules given to you by upper management, you must fix up different articles, and then choose which ones get published. However, not all articles contain the most truthful or accurate information, with each potentially full of lies and misinformation. But for some unknown reason, the paper's upper management is constantly pushing you to publish these articles full of lies. It's up to you to decide whether or not to publish these articles that spread inherently false information as instructed, or disobey upper management and potentially risk your job, or maybe even a little more. Throughout the game, you'll also get to know a few of your co-workers, all with different motives, goals, and secrets. During breaks, you can interact with them at the water cooler, the paper's designated recreational area. What you say to your peers here will affect your relationships with them, and sometimes even your place at the company. Aside from just checking articles, you will also have to occasionally edit videos, as well as write cue cards for news presenters to read out, spreading the reliable time's influence. Which, given the amount of misinformation the company is spewing, might not be a good thing. As the story unfolds, you'll find out more about the motives and intentions of upper management, and learn that maybe your job as head editor isn't the safest in the company. But, it's up to you to decide whether or not to continue publishing all this misinformation, or risk the safety of yourself and those around you. Matt and I were initially very interested in the ideas of things like the Mandela Effect and false information in the media, as well as your general things like fake news and gaslighting. Information sharing, particularly online, is now reaching a point where we should become more skeptical, especially with things like deep fakes getting far more advanced and convincing. So Matt and I decided that we'd create something that delves into the spread of lies as well as information disorder, with the goal of bringing attention to this and allowing the user to be privy towards all these different manipulative techniques in order to be able to distinguish and avoid them. In terms of the development of the game, we have come quite a long way in a short amount of time. Uh, originally, we started by making physical paper prototypes of the game, where we tested out different mechanics, and ideas, and we basically just threw everything in at once, and saw what stuck. One of the biggest evolutions from this paper prototyping stage was most definitely the visual novel, uh, talking to your co-workers aspect of the game. Originally you would only talk to your co-workers next to a water cooler, which sort of played off the whole stereotype of water cooler talk conversations in an office workspace. And this eventually evolved into the paper having a recreational area slash bar called the water cooler, where during break times workers would come and relax and chat to one another. During development, reasonably early on, uh, when we didn't have all the finalized character designs, we used this one temporary character that we would just throw in as a placeholder whenever we needed a character somewhere on screen. And it's, it's kind of cool to go and see now the comparison between uh, when it was just him, the temporary character, and then you compare it to now uh, with all the finalized stuff. On the topic of characters, we've got a nice little cast of co-workers that show up in the game uh, that you get to talk to in various branching dialogues that affect your relationships with them. These characters, uh, designed by Matt, are all actually based off different zodiac signs, which are often the subject of information disorder. For example, Ari is an Aries and is quite hot-headed and combative, as the stereotype for an Aries man goes. Another thing that changed drastically during development was the main menu, and also logo, uh, of the game. Originally, the main menu was a sidewalk with a newspaper on the ground that had text on it that you could click to start the game or go to options, etc. Um, however, uh, to save resources and cut down loading times, we actually put the main menu in the office itself, uh, which is what you're seeing right now. In the game, we also have a lot of original fake news articles uh, written by Matt and I which was admittedly a very fun process to do, to, uh, to create these outlandish titles and concepts and things like that, and then eventually put them in game. But yeah, uh, that's about all the time we have for this look into Misconceived. We can't wait for you to play the demo, and just let us know what you think about it.